Hi, welcome to Storosos classes. Today we will be doing application of differentiation, mainly comparative static analysis. Let's start with a tough sum. We need to find the rate of change of output with respect to time. If the production function is given as q equals to a t k to power alpha l to power beta, where mind it, a t is an increasing function of t. That is, the value of a t keeps on increasing as t, the value of t increases. We are also given with k equals to k naught plus a t and l equals to l naught plus b t. Let's see how to do this. The rate of change of time of output with respect to time is dq by dt. Now we can find this by del q by del a into del a by del t. That is we will find the rate of change of output with respect to a and rate of change of a with respect to time plus dq by dk into dk by dt similarly plus dq by dl into dl by dt here we are checking with respect to k and here in the next case we are checking with respect to t let's see what the value comes this is equals to a alpha a capital a k to power alpha minus 1 l to power beta plus b beta a k to power alpha l b to power minus 1 plus a dash t k to power alpha l to power beta I have done it in one simple step. If you want, you can do it in uh, several steps. First, find dq by dA, then dA by dt, dq by dk, dk by dt, and dl by dt, and dq by dl. And then put it in this formula that I have already shown you, and you will get the same result. If you do not get the same result, please check your differentiation once more and you, I am sure it, your answer will match to mine. Now let's see what it comes when we simplify this further. I have written it down so that I can explain you in an easier manner. This is what we get when we simplify this above equation over here we have take, taken k to the power alpha and l to the power beta as common as a result e, we divide each and every part of this above equation with this whatever is obtained is considered in this bracket if you have any problems please ask in the comment section below Moving on to the next question. Now in the next case we need to find the partial total derivatives phi w by phi u and phi w by phi v. Let's do it for a first. This red color seems very loud. Let me change it to another color. Yes. Now for this case Let's find phi w by phi u. This is equals to partial derivative of w by partial derivative of x into dx by du plus partial derivative of w by partial derivative of y into dy by du. Sorry. This will be all partial derivatives plus dw by du and this comes to 2ax plus 
बी वाई इंटू आल्फा प्लस बी एक्स इंटू गामा प्लस सी एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन now we are going to be solving for dw by dv this was for dw phi w or phi u sorry now here i go phi w by phi v equals to dw by dx into dx by dv plus partial derivative of w partial derivative of y into partial derivative of y by partial derivative of v and this comes to 2 ax plus by into beta plus bx into 0 that is if we take it common beta into 2a into alpha u plus beta v plus b gamma u similarly repeat the process for number b i'm not going to solve that because i'm going to let you try i'm just going to give you the answer please try it on your own pause the video as i'm going to show you the answer in just a second that is phi w by phi u in the second case will be 10 u f1 plus f2 phi w by phi v will be equals to 3 f1 minus 12 v square f2 if it matches with your answer well a great job has been done by you if not see your calculations i'm sure it will match with mine Here we go for the next question. Great. Now we'll go into one of the most grey areas and one of the most sought out areas of comparative statics, that is national income. Here we are given a question where we have the equilibrium condition of S Y plus T Y equals to I Y plus G naught. The symbols meanings are given. now we have to find and interpret the economic meaning of the derivative of s dash t dash and i dash therefore s dash is the marginal propensity to save t dash means marginal income tax rate and lastly i dash oops means marginal propensity to invest in the second part we have to check whether the condition of the implicit function theorem are satisfied if so we will be writing the equilibrium identity lastly we will find dy star by d g0 we will use the implicit function rule that is dy star by d g0 equals to minus into minus of minus 1 by s dash plus t dash minus i dash which will come to 1 by s dash plus t dash minus i dash and this whole term is greater than 0 as d g not rather as g not increases the equilibrium national income also increases now let's do one more difficult sum 
we are given this question please pause this video and read the question because it's a very important one i will be solving this in very fast manner because although it looks easy if we use the correct technique we can solve it very easily and sure marks are guaranteed in the first equation the nature of an equilibrium condition is maintained because see the form y minus cy minus investment uh, minus g naught equals to zero now the answer will be yes for the second one we have to find the total quantity demanded for the money in this model which will be equals to ky plus l i this is because when we take this term on the right hand side we are left with this term and this is the actual term for the total quantity demanded for money this is in this case however remember k is a positive constant and l dash is less than zero third question is very important over here we'll find that f1 is equals to zero and f2 equals to zero where f1 and f2 are two equilibrium conditions respectively now we'll need to find a jacobian mod j equals to we find by using this two equilibrium conditions first we differentiate df1 with respect to y and i and df2 with respect to y and i and what we get is 1 minus c dash k minus i dash l dash which comes to l dash 1 minus c dash plus k i dash and this is less than zero 